Did you miss your deadline to renew your Medicaid coverage? You can still send your completed annual review form to Healthy Connections Medicaid. You may be assigned to another health plan, but you can ask to come back to First Choice within 60 days of renewed Medicaid eligibility. It's your family. It's your choice. First Choice is the right choice. Renew and choose us. Visit selecthealthofsc.com slash renew to learn more. Lean on us. We are here for you. You matter. You are not alone. Are you feeling overwhelmed? Not sure where to turn? The National Suicide and Crisis Lifeline is there for you 24-7. Call or text 988 or chat at 988sc.org. Whether you're having an emergency or you know someone who needs support now, they can help you take the next step towards finding hope and healing. There is hope. 988sc.org. Your place is sure with two great names, Bridget Air and General Motors. Bridget Air presents Herbert Marshall as the man called X. Wherever there is mystery, intrigue, romance, in all the strange and dangerous places of the world, there you will find the man called X. Frigid Air presents Herbert Marshall as Ken Thurston, a man called X. Far over the storm-blanketed Transjordan hills, somewhere between Cairo and Tehran, Ken Thurston and Pagan Zilchrit, in a private plane, battle a terrific storm. I can the inside of a head out there, Mr. Thurston. How can you even see where to fly this plane? Pagan, I can't. <laughs> and what are we going to do? I'd like to prove that mechanic and tell her, not an instrument on this board is working right. Oh. The way we've been kicking around in this storm, I don't even know what... Uh-oh. Mr. X, the engine's skunked out. Yeah. Then what do we do now? Why well, do we get one look at the ground? We don't even know how far up we are. Look, and that flash of light. Yeah, top of a hill, dead ahead. Mr. X, we're going to hit. If I get a level off, hang on, hang on. rising up out of the dark valleys below this hill. Yes, I, I hear it. It's not horrible, that voice. Terrible with its jealous, grim, selfish hate. Yes, it's not pretty. Can I live and grow up in a world like that? A child who can't judge mankind from the top of a hill. You have to go down among them. I've been down among them. Seen their wars and heard rumors of wars. There are other things to hear. When you know how to listen. Who is me now? Down there? Down 
down in those valleys? How can we? Why not? It's Christmas. So anything can happen. I've got to come on, child. The little boy was playing. Tiny thing. It's, it's Christmas, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> when... I'll add you play it better every month. It's a great virtuoso. You'll be tiny, Tim. It was a marvelous song, Timmy boy. Oh, thank you, everyone. Maybe when spring comes, I shall be able to play for pennies in the street. Then I'll help you, Father. Bless you, lad. <laughs> and now I think I should tune my fiddle. One string was ever so slightly flat, you know. Such a curious man. Oh, he says strange things sometimes. He told me in church this morning he hoped all the people would see him and remember who made lame beggars walk and blind men see. It's a lucky family we are, Robert. There's few in this world that have as much as we. Well, it's something of a joke, my dear, with the little I'm able to do. Robert Cratchit, when I think of all the years we've had and such wonderful children, and you always so cheerful and understanding of our needs. Oh, along with you now. What about that surprise? alive. I'd almost forgotten it. Quiet, everybody. I have a surprise for you. I'll bring it right in. Now, I wonder what it could possibly be. I wish I can guess, Father. Look, everyone. Jerry oh. A plum pudding blazing like the sun itself. It's saying Merry Christmas to all of us. Yes, and God bless us. God bless us, everyone. Jimmy Ned, such a beautiful dish needs a real salute. Take your fiddle and play us an overture to the pudding. Hurrah! A hold there, child? Oh, I could. It would be so easy if all people were like them. There are a great many like them. If you know where to look. Who are they? That was the family of a certain Bob Cratchit. A clerk in the London firm of school in the year 1840. It's a Christmas carol. Those were not even real people. They came from a book. Must I live then only in books? This is here and now when things are different. Are they so very different? Aren't those the same stars drifting overhead that shone a hundred years ago? All thousand, all ten thousand. Real people sleep in the dirt and never look at the stars. Not all of them. I can see one right now. On the other side of the earth. Yes, a little flat in the queens. Yes, that's what they are. Yes, they're the same stars drifting overhead that shone a hundred years ago. All thousand, all ten thousand. Real people sleep in the dirt and never look at the stars. Burton. Hello, Marion. Ken, oh, come on in. Oh, it's good to see you. Here, let me take some of those packages. Well, thanks. I, I guess I was pretty well loaded down. Who is it, Mommy? Who's there? It's Mr. Thurston, Donnie. You remember Daddy's friend. Hey, sure I remember. Hello, Mr. Thurston. Hiya, Donnie. Look, packages. I'll bet they're presents. Donnie, okay. take them into the other room and put them around your tree. All right. Boy, I wonder what's inside all these old packages. <laughs> He's growing so fast, Ken. And I think every day he looks more like John. Yes, I... I noticed that. I wouldn't want it any other way, Ken. That's how it should be. For that's the only reason for my still being alive. You're a pretty brave girl, Mel. Jerry was brave at Anvil. What he did was for Donnie, too, you know. Will you, uh, give me along all that, Mel, and there's anything you need? We're getting along perfectly. Oh, I resent my job keeping me away from my son in the daytime. But we've eaten in the park on Sundays and snow in winter and merry-go-rounds and ice cream sodas and... Oh, don't worry about us, kids. We'll be all right. Yes. If there's one thing in this shaky world I can be certain of, it's that. You'll be all right. I grew up in the doors like that one and many others. She was a heroine. And they are too few and far between. Try to walk a hundred steps without finding one. It is no use. I know you as one whom sometimes men call X. You too fight for my cause. But the world is filled with hate. But I shall live in it no longer. All right. Then I'll show you why you've got to live. Grow up. Even if it takes proof so far to try to see me credible. Oh, Candy. How can you know what I need when you don't even know my name? Would you like me to say it for you? Could you? You know who I am? You can. I know who you are. I know who you are. Oh, Ken.
air between Cairo and Tehran, a plane carrying Ken Thurston and Fagon Zellschmidt fought its way through the raging blackness of the storm. In a blinding flash of lightning, a hilltop loomed ahead, and a second later, the plane smashed into it. <laughs> then suddenly, the storm was gone. A million cold, bright stars glittered overhead, and Ken stood outside on the hilltop, talking to a strange little girl who seemingly came from nowhere, everywhere. Proof indeed that at Christmas time, anything could happen. You must know that I want to live and to grow. I've loved this world. Seen beautiful things happening. And found each time in those things new hope. But then each time I've seen that new hope die. The world has not grown wise nor clean. The years have only made it old and dirty. Not fit to live in. But I know there's hope in it yet. Hope for both of us. After all, I feel we're both searching for the same thing. I'm done with search. And with hoping and with living. And what of those who follow you, believe in you? What about those people who all their lives put the needs of humanity above their own needs? And are there such on the earth anymore? <laughs> are the stars still over here? Do you know even one? One? I know a lot of them down in those valleys below us. But let's take just one. We had our own for a long time. I'm going to put it in there where we might find it tonight. Look a long way off, child. Look half around the world. Uh, possibly some stricture there, all right. A thrombus, maybe. How's the pulse? Still fast? 97, Doctor. Hmm. Well, that's all we can do now. What time is it, Miss Nelson? It's after midnight. Oh, good Lord. No wonder I'm tired. Dr. Richards. I've been a supervisor with this hospital long enough to have a right to contradict you once in a while. Mm -hmm. About what? You're not tired because it's after midnight. You're tired because you haven't had a decent night's sleep in five years. Ah. What's more, you had a checkup at the clinic six months ago. I happen to know what they told you. They didn't know what they were talking about. Bunch of crepe hangers. They told you to work only four hours a day. When are you going to start doing it? Four hours a day when people are dying 24 hours a day. There are other doctors. Yeah, there are a lot of other problems from too. Seeing kids like this one coming here year after year. You can never do a blasted thing for them. Well, now after five years, I can do something for them. And in another year, I'll have the technique perfected so every doctor can use it. If you live long enough. I'll live long enough. If I stop now, throw away the chance to beat this thing just so I could live another 20 years, then... Well, then there'd be no sense to anything in this world. You've got a life, too, Dr. Richards. Oh, poppycock. Oh, I suppose you think I'm a fool, Miss Nelson. If I told you what I think you are, you... You just laugh it off. But no. No, Dr. Richards. I don't think you're a fool. Other people who think of their fellow men first and themselves second? Yes. Oh, yes, there must be others. And can't they be called the leave of the new, these selfless people? Yes. But they too are heroes. Ordinary people must believe if I'm to live and grow up. Well, what can be more ordinary than a boy and girl in love? Paris, London, Vienna, Shanghai, New York. There's nothing in the world so beautifully ordinary as a woman who can have love. It's lovely, but it can't go through the heart. You don't have to wait for it's policy. As long as you're in it, honey, the whole world's lucky. We're terribly lucky. Suppose we hadn't found each other. Oh, we could less. We're a natural. How could you tell? The first day we knew. What made you know you were not with me? They came down the street in a crowd. All of a sudden, there was only a crowd. A room. Suddenly, I decided there must be a room. Do you think there may be other people as happy as so I am? Not a chance. But there must be. People who are in love, too. Millions of them. Oh, I love everyone of them. Now I am, Joe. Oh, but you do, too. You know you do. It makes you feel close to me. Yeah. I guess I do it, too. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. Oh, I like what you do. All I can hear is music. I know. I can hear it too. There's beautiful music in the world. This is. I love you. I love you. 
million to love someone else. And with them, I can have hope. For they can see beyond themselves. Sometimes far beyond. I want to see you and believe in you. They still want me to live and grow up. All those who love. Oh, but you will believe in me, Miss Charlie. But there are things a long way off from this crowded hill. Our brothers. And the wrecked plane lying over there. Where? We can go to them. We can go anywhere tonight. Because it's Christmas time when anything can happen. We can try. We can go up It's a stream that flows forever in one direction. We'll have to move again before this place lies. Right up the stream. Toward the headwaters of time. I'm telling you, rivers. A long way off. But we can try. Look what it is. Glorious place, this is. What wondrous spot in all eternity have we come? This is the realm of tomorrow. All of these wonderful things. I have no names for them. There are no names for them, child. They're still a part of tomorrow. This one. Oh, how beautiful. Look at it. Just look at it. It's one of tomorrow's dreams, child. Gilded with expectations. Gleaming with fulfillment. And this one. Oh, how lovely. That's one of tomorrow's hopes. And here's another. So proud and so splendid. It's an ideal not yet realized. Another part of tomorrow. There are so many wondrous things. Things never seen on the face of the earth. Nor will they ever be. If you decide not to live. Yes. Wait. This door. Where does it lead? Why not open it? Find out. I will. I will. Baby. Baby. Millions of babies. Look at them. Those will be unborn. And there will never be anything else unless you decide to live. Oh, they're so beautiful. Everything here is so beautiful. It can't be lost. The choice is yours, child. It's your choice. I've made my choice. Let's go back. Back to the hills and the stars and the valleys of the world. world down there. Why did I ever think it was? But the voice of hate still sounds from it. Have you forgotten? No. I've not forgotten yet. But it only sounds so big because hate has the loudest voice. I can hear another sound. Far off in a black night. It's a voice from the hearts of heroes. A song of hope. And love and understanding. You call them heroes. Why not why not men of goodwill? Yes, men of goodwill. I can live in a world that has such men. And you must live for such men. They are the ones who believe in you. Yes. And they must believe. As I believe in them. Know this. You who are called X. I shall live. And I shall grow. And someday I shall rule this world. Wait, don't go. I must. It's nearly dawn. You are waking up. Do you understand? You are waking up. Yes. Yes, I understand. Oh, well. Well. Oh. Hang on. Hang on. Hmm? Big on. Look out. We're going to hit. What? Oh, Mr. Mr. Rex, what happened? Can have been pretty rough landing in the dark. Must have been out for hours. The dawn's starting to break over there. I'm slipping up. We must have broken the leg or something. It'll be all right. Soon we'll get out of this wreck and walk around a little. Mr. Thurston, shouldn't have woken me up. What's having you beautiful dream? All about money. Yes, I had a dream, too. Yeah, none of that nap. Oh, here. Uh, uh, was it about money, Mr. Rex? It was about a little girl. Little girl? Anybody know? Somebody a lot of people know. And what about an order now? Yeah? What's your name? Oh, the French call her Pierre. The Romans used to call her Plex. And even her name was Pierce. Pierce? That's a strange name. So a strange name. Come on, people. Let's get out of this wreck. 
Hey, look, Mr. Red. Down there in the flat. It's a little town. Yeah. And for that, it's tricky on the map. Come on, I want to get a wire off to the chief. Which way? Down this path? No, Pig, on straight ahead. Toward the sunrise. Mr. Thurston, look. The sun's coming up. Lighting up those houses, turning them purple and red and gold. All kinds of colors. What's the name of that little town? Take on. If the map is right, if that dream is true, that little town is called Bethlehem. I do want to say something to our good friends in the radio audience. For this is the time of year when you think about your friends. About those whose, whose names you know and about other friends, too. People who just haven't been fortunate enough to meet, but would like to meet very much. Because you know you'd like them, and well, maybe they'd like you, too. Well, it seems to me that uh, takes in just about everybody, Bart. I think it does. And so to everybody who can hear my voice, to all our friends, I want to say for our sponsor, Frigidaire... And for all of us here in the studio, a very Merry Christmas. We'll all say amen to that, Bart. A very Merry Christmas. Frigidaire's Man Called X is directed by Jack Johnstone, with music composed and conducted by Johnny Green. Pagan was played by Leon Velasco, and tonight's story was written by Les Crutchfield. So until next week, same time, same station, this is Wendell Niles speaking for Frigidaire, made only by General Motors. All characters and incidents used on this program are fictitious. And any resemblance to actual persons or incidents is purely coincidental. Remember, every Sunday night brings you two popular dramatic shows on CBS, The Man Called X and The Adventures of Sam Spade. Yes, for the best in entertainment, tune in and stay tuned in to CBS, the biggest show in town. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting Center. Lucky Land Casino, asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car, before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino-style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily Daily bonuses. That should brighten your day, Lil. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at chumbacasino.com. That's chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. DTW, void, we're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus.